Section 1. Introduction. What is it? The MFI fact sheet is an Excel workbook containing eight visible sheets and a number of hidden ones. Together, the eight visible sheets provide an easy-to-use tool for monitoring the financial performance of an MFI, which consists of tables and graphs. For microfinance, insofar as possible, the MFI fact sheet uses terms and definitions based on industry consensus. However, as there is no complete standardization across the industry, some terms and definitions may differ from the ones used in particular regions or in a specific geographical context. Latest version. Please make sure you are using the latest version of the MFI fact sheet. The latest version is available on Microfacts website. Language options. The MFI fact sheet currently functions in nine languages. Spanish, French, Portuguese, Russian, Arabic, Khmer, Vietnamese, Lao, and English. At any time, the user can switch from one language to another by choosing the selected language from the drop-down box placed at the top of the identification sheet. Section 2. Structure of the MFI Fact Sheet The order of the eight visible sheets in the fact sheet is as follows. Sheet BRS00 – Identification Sheet Sheet BRS01 – Balance Sheet Sheet BRS02 – Profit and Loss Sheet BRS03 – Extras – Extra Data Sheet BRS04 – Performance Indicators Sheet BRS05 – Financial Graphs Sheet BRS07 – Social Graphs Sheet 8 – Manual of Use The first four sheets are for data entry. Sheets 4, 5 and 7 are generated automatically. Sheet 8 consists of the user manual and is static. Section 3. General remarks about data entry. To get started, make sure you have enabled the macros. Fill in the actual year in cell C8 of the identification sheet. This will automatically set up all the periods. After entering the actual year, fill in the name of the institution, the country and the currency of the report. If necessary, choose from the drop-down boxes. Data entry cells are coloured in yellow. All other cells left in white are protected. It is not required to fill in all cells, as some may not apply to your particular MFI. For example, an MFI that does not take deposits will not report these figures in the balance sheet. Entry of data is expected in the first four sheets only. These are structured as tables in which data has to be entered for several time periods. MFIs are like cars. You have small cars and big cars. So are MFIs. You have very small or big institutions. Some are rural and others are urban. This being said, you cannot draw conclusions on the performance of a car simply by looking at it. The same can be said about an MFI. In order to do so, we must have a look at the engine and make it talk. In the garage, the mechanics connects the car to a computer to obtain a diagnosis and see what has to be adjusted to improve the performance. In the same way as the computer in the garage, the MFI fact sheet is the tool that we use to make the MFI talk. It provides us with the performance indicators of the MFI and enables us to analyze them. What works well within the MFI? What doesn't? Is it going in the right direction? Easy to use. Every item on the sheets has an item reference. For example, A10. Many items have accompanying explanations that all appear in a pop-up window when the item reference is double-clicked. Will it take a long time? Entering data into the MFI fact sheet is straightforward and easy to perform by anyone who has general knowledge of accounting and MFI reporting. It takes about two to three hours to set up a first report from scratch and less than 15 minutes to update a report thereafter. Section four, use of the MFI fact sheet. The MFI fact sheet, meant as a management information system, is a reporting format that can be used both internally by managers of the MFI and externally for purposes of analysis and monitoring. 
It is fully compliant with the best practices of the microfinance industry and simple to use. The MFI fact sheet is based on an MFI's accounting and institutional data and provides a set of indicators that cover most of an institution's critical areas. The tool further generates financial as well as social graphs, which enhances the usability of the MFI fact sheet for analytical purposes. The first table on the left has five columns, four previous year periods, and the last one for the year to date. The fifth column displays the year to date. This data is taken from a second table on the right, which will appear when moving to the right of the screen. This table has 12 columns, numbered from 1 to 12, for the respective months of the actual year. All these columns are available for data entry. The year-to-date column of the first table on the left will automatically copy the last month of the second table for which data has been entered. It is not necessary to fill in all months when wanted to look at one particular period, for example, the first semester. But take care to fill in the data in the correct column because this is important for annualizing certain ratios. Be careful to do this in all three sheets, as the ratios will use information from all three of them. At the beginning of the following years, the fact sheet can automatically be adjusted for continued data entry for that year by clicking the button New Year on the right hand of the sheet identification sheet. This will generate a new fact sheet in which the actual year is adjusted and all previous information moves one column to the left. Section 5. Overview of the different sheets. Sheet BRS01 Balance Sheet. In this sheet, the data from the MFI's balance sheet has to be entered. The structure of this balance sheet is a reduced form using only main accounts. In the monthly columns for the current year, shown on the right-hand side of the screen, cumulative data must be entered. For example, in column 3, March, data should be entered for the first three months. As highlighted before, comprehensive explanations on individual accounts are provided through pop-up screens, which can be accessed by double-clicking on the item reference. Sheet BRS02 – Profit and Loss Statement In this sheet, the MFI's Profit and Loss Statement has to be entered. The structure of this Profit and Loss Statement is a reduced form using only main accounts, just like in the balance sheet. In the monthly columns for the current year, shown on the right-hand side of the screen, cumulative data must be entered. For example, in column 3, March, data should be entered for the first three months. Comprehensive explanations on individual accounts are provided through pop-up screens, which can be accessed by double-clicking on the item reference. Sheet BRS 03 – Extras In this sheet, additional information that does not come from the MFI's accounting has to be provided. This information is related to five areas. Monetary context, exchange rate and inflation, institutional information, branches, staffing and clients. Portfolio information, comprehensive data from the portfolio tracking system. Other information, for example, the start date of the fiscal year. Social performance data. Don't forget, Comprehensive explanations on individual items are provided through pop-up screens, which can be accessed by double-clicking on the item reference. Sheet BRS 04 – Performance Indicators This sheet automatically generates a full set of indicators into a one-page report. It provides the user with an institutional scorecard based on best practice performance indicators. The indicators have been grouped into seven categories, covering aspects of growth, the quality of the loan portfolio, the financial structure, the efficiency and productivity, sustainability, aspects of profitability, social performance data. Comprehensive explanations on individual ratios are provided through pop-up screens, which can be accessed by double-clicking on the item reference. Sheet BRS 05 – Financial Graphs This sheet automatically generates a full set of graphs in a one-page report. These graphs provide the user with a visual representation of 10 critical aspects of an MFI. The graphs are based on one or a combination of several ratios. As such, five main categories are covered. Portfolio evolution, growth and loan size. Portfolio quality and risk coverage. 
operational self-sufficiency and staff productivity, portfolio yield and decomposition by costs, funding structure and savings evolution. Sheet BRS 07, Social Graphs. Together with Cerise and Trias, ADA BRS have assembled 18 social indicators already recognized and used by the mix, and the microfinance rating agencies, to name but a few. Please note only quantitative and result indicators have been selected. This sheet automatically generates a full set of graphs in a one-page report. These graphs provide the user with a visual representation of eight critical aspects of an MFI. They are based on one or a combination of several ratios. According to the Universal Standards of Social Performance Management, these quantitative social indicators have been grouped under four main categories that cover 1. Strategy Define and monitor social goals 2. Products and services Design products, services, delivery models and channels that meet clients' needs and preferences 3. Social responsibility towards staff Treat employees responsibly 4. Client protection. Treat clients responsibly. Frequently asked questions about the MFI fact sheet. Can the MFI fact sheet be customized? Yes. The Excel format of the MFI fact sheets allow you to customize it. Certain sheets of the Excel workbook are protected. Before editing, you must unprotect the sheet. Warning. If you want to use the MFI fact sheet in combination with the MFI fact sheets compiler, you can adapt the financial ratio sheet as well as the graph sheet. Is it compatible with Excel 2007? Yes, the MFI fact sheet is compatible with Excel 2007 provided you use Excel 2007 in compatibility mode. Please follow these simple steps to put Excel 2007 into compatibility mode. Click Microsoft Office button. Click Excel Options. Click on Save in the list of options on the left and use the drop-down menu to select Excel 97 2003 Workbook. All future files that you save will have the file extension XLS rather than the 2007 XLSX extension. Please note that the MFI fact sheet is not compatible with Mac. The MFI fact sheet isn't working properly. What's wrong? You must check that the macros are enabled in Excel. Please follow these simple steps to enable macros in Excel 2003. Click Tools in the menus bar, click Macro, click Security, select Low and confirm by clicking OK. Close Excel and reopen the MFI fact sheet. Please follow these simple steps to enable macros in Excel 2007. Click the Microsoft Office button. Click Excel Options. Click the Trust Center button on the left. At the bottom right, select Trust Center Settings. Select Enable All Macros and confirm by clicking OK. Close Excel and reopen the MFI Fact Sheet. Thank you for downloading the MFI Fact Sheet tool and we hope this tutorial was useful. More frequently asked questions are available on the Microfact website at www.microfact.com dot org.